How's it going guys, Daryl from Rockville and today we're doing an unboxing of the Rock Shield 3. So the Rock Shield 3 is basically the bigger brother of the Rock Shield 1. Uh, I'm just gonna open up the box and show you how it looks and how it works. Got my marker. Whoa, what is this? It looks really sturdy. Put this down for now. Ah. Whew. Okay, these are the knobs, legs, and screws. All right, let's open this thing up. Whoa, this is really sturdy. Five panels, this is five panels. Just like the Rock Shield 1, wherever you bend it, that's essentially where it stays, so that's really nice. And the foam is super dense, two inches. This is two inch dense foam. And of course, it's got the vented back plate, so that's going to reflect unwanted noise, and then any other noise that gets through the cracks is actually gonna get absorbed by the foam as well, so that's really nice. I think these are the screw holes for the legs, so I'm just gonna screw in the legs. And this is probably going to be really good for placing it right on your desk so you don't have to attach to a microphone stand. So now we have three legs, five panels, and no reflections. So this is gonna be really nice if you're doing a podcast or like Twitch streaming or something and you are just literally broadcasting from your desktop. You don't need a huge microphone stand. You can just put it right on your desk. So this thing is gonna be great for recording vocals in the studio. I'm gonna show you how to install it to your microphone stand and then we'll just do a quick demo of what it sounds like before and after I use the shield. Testing one, two, testing one, two. This is Daryl from Rockville. No microphone shield. So the first thing you wanna do with the rock shield is identify the top and the bottom. Now the top of the rock shield has these little knobs on it and in the center panel there's actually a section where you can screw in the additional knob that's provided and this is going to attach the plate to the panels. The one with the smaller hole is going to be where you attach the top, kind of hook it into place right there and then take your little knob, screw that into the top and that'll secure it in place. So then underneath of it there's actually a, another part where the holes line up. You have to attach this other base plate and this is actually where you're going to attach your microphone to. You put the plate underneath of this like that, make sure everything's lined up. Silver knob, screw that into place. So this is the actual piece that the microphone sits on and it comes with a knob that you screw in on the other end. And what you wanna do is sandwich the plate, screw it in so that it is secure, like so. Flip it over. Now on the back, there are two clamps. Now these clamps are what you're going to use to attach to your microphone stand. I want to point out that I am using a microphone stand, but you don't actually have to use a microphone stand. Because it comes with a microphone attachment, you can actually attach this to any stand, really. You know, you can use a PA stand. Get creative. Traditionally, I'm going to stick with a microphone stand. You have to loosen the knobs, give yourself enough space to attach it to your stand. All right, so then you want to basically just hook it onto your stand, like that, and then just tighten it until it stays in place. Boom. Oh. All right, so nice and sturdy. So I have my shock mount here. This is for the RCM Pro. Basically just screw that into place. RCM Pro. Windshield. Okay, let's turn this thing around and hear how it sounds. Testing, testing, one, two. This is Daryl from Rockville. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. This is Daryl from Rockville. Testing, testing, one, two. This is Daryl from Rockville. Testing, one, two. Testing, one, two. This is Daryl from Rockville. All right, so now you can hear how it sounds with the rock shield on it. I gave you a demo of what it sounded like without the rock shield, and now you can hear a huge difference. My vocals are much drier. They're much more clear and more crisp. Obviously, this room has a lot of reverberance in it, but this rock shield really does cut out some of that echo. And once you have a really dry vocal like this, you can pretty much do whatever you want with it. You could put it in a reverb, put some delay on it, process it, and manipulate it to whatever suits your needs. What's nice about this is that I can adjust the shield to how much absorption I want. So if I want it a little more open, I can just leave the shield open like this, but if I want it to be a little more isolated, I can just close the shields like this and then I'll really get some isolation here. Play around with it, you'll be able to find an isolation level that'll suit you and your recording needs. So this thing is going to be great in the studio, whether you're recording rap, singing, or podcasting, um, even Twitch streaming. If you want to mount it onto your desk, it comes with legs, so you don't have to attach to a microphone stand, which is great. It's very durable, it's extremely sturdy, so I can see this being in your studio for quite a long time. Check the link in the description box below if you want to find out more about the product or where to get it. If you liked what you saw in this video, leave a like, leave a comment in the comment section. As always guys, I'm Daryl from Rockville and I'll see you next time.